And we're going to check in on some playoff races, actually the playoff races, because as of this point, with six games to go, uh, there are only a couple teams that have clinched playoff spots or their divisions even. Uh, the Yankees have clinched a playoff spot. Their magic number, I believe, is one at this point uh, to clinch the division. The Cleveland's Baseball Club has clinched the division, uh, therefore clinching a playoff spot. The Phillies have clinched a playoff spot, and if they have won, then they clinched uh, the division. Yeah, Brick? The Phillies? They have not won. As of this point, they're in the bottom of the eighth, but they're up right. four against the Cubs. I would be confident yeah. if I was a Phillies fan right now. Gonna, totally. going to clinch the division tonight. Okay. Yep. And then you've got the Brewers clinch their division and the Dodgers have clinched a playoff spot. Oddly enough, they have not clinched their division yet. I am shocked. That makes no sense. They only have three games on the Padres. And they are playing each other. Yeah. This it week, is. starting Tuesday, they're going to play. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, they're going to play a three-game set. That's the last three games of the season. No, 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 no. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then they've got Friday, Saturday, oh, Sunday. Yeah, okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I was like, yeah. what? Okay. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite there. I because the Dodgers, have to, the Dodgers have to finish the season against the Rockies, which is where Otani is going to reach 60-60. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Shoot my shot there, Brig. Okay. Yeah, you are. I love so, when you do that. <laughs> and then the other you team in the, the last American one. League. <laughs> I did call the last one. So the only other team in the American League, like the division leader, I guess, across Major League Baseball, who has not clinched a playoff spot is the Houston Astros. They're playing the Mariners currently. Yeah, Started a three-game set Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, they have five games up on the Mariners. Their magic number is two at this point. But when, when it comes down to it, if the Astros win, Mariners lose, they clinch. Yes. So that's how that's yep. going to happen, is that the Astros just need to win one game. Uh might be two. Yeah. Well, yeah, but no, because that, that means a win for them, a loss for the Mariners. That's your two right there. You're right. You're right. That might Because be. I think when it comes down to it, too, is once the Astros win, I think they're going to have the tiebreaker as well. But anyway. So, yeah, that's they've true. They've reached huh? a point where they just have to beat the Mariners one out of the three. But the Mariners are trying to win because let's go look at the wild card race in the American League because oh, it is man. bananas. It is wild. So your Orioles, your Orioles, Brig. Uh, hey, now, yeah, I mean, <laughs> kind of. Lee's Orioles. <laughs> Lee's Orioles, you're right. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> they're on top of the wild card currently. They're four games up over the Tigers and, or and Royals. It's safe to say they're going. They're fine. They've been on they're a going. rough stretch here for a while. Yeah, it's been real rough. Three yeah, three and seven in their last ten. If you just look at that small sample size, yeah. um, but I don't think they're going to lose enough games to get knocked out. I think they'll be just fine. The issue I would have an issue like I'd be really worried if I was an Orioles fan going to the playoffs, though, because there are a lot of issues that need to get sorted out in the next week, and I don't think that they will be. So all well, those they people play three who, games against the Yankees in the boogie down. Yeah, I was just going to say though that all those people who thought they got pretty decent odds on the Orioles winning the World Series are kind of in trouble, I think. Yeah, it's pretty rough. We were pretty so, high on them. So we were. I I can't believe how hard they fell off the last like I don't, month. It's been I don't get it. Hardcore. They're not going to make up six against the Yankees. That's never going to happen. No, 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 not a chance. No, so but it's as good as the division is as good as locked up. But I don't think they're yeah. going to lose four games of ground to the Royals. They're certainly not, certainly not going to lose, or even the Tigers. Certainly not going to lose four games of ground to those guys. Now, hold on. Days. You don't think so. you don't think that the Tigers can gain four on Baltimore, knowing that Baltimore's going to the boogie down for three games. No. Okay. Because I, I don't think the I don't think they'll get swept. They'd have to get swept. They're not going to get swept. The Yankees aren't going to sweep the Tigers or the Birds. They're not going to do it. I'm telling you right, right now, then, I know it. And then but after, they, so they have, and then they go to Minnesota, who can't get out of their own way. They can't. But the Tigers, after, so they lost one to the Orioles, and then they won two against the Orioles, and now they're going to, they have a, a road trip today, and then they're going to be 
in Tampa Bay, or sorry, home against Tampa Bay. They play all the, the remaining six games. Detroit does it at home. Tampa Bay for three, and then the White Sox for three. So let's say they take two out of three against Tampa, just say, and let's say they take three out of three against the White Sox. That's five. They most likely will. Baltimore is going to play three against the Yankees starting you know, today if you're listening. You see what I'm saying? It I maps. I see what you're saying. It math. Yeah, it does math because they could <laughs> lose. The, the Orioles could lose two to the Yankees. Yes. And even if they take, even if they win two against Minnesota, Minnesota. that's only three wins. You see what I'm Whoa. saying? You, bro. Yeah, you're right. Bro. I don't. It's it feels unlikely, but when you figure that the playoff odds for the Tigers on August 11th were 0.2 percent, and as of <laughs> September 23rd, which is right now today, they're at 71.1 percent. Just in that short amount of time, if they continue the tear they're on and the trajectory the birds are on right now, it just it can see it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I think you're absolutely right. It could it could definitely happen. So, okay, that top spot is not locked up then. Bring you convinced. I don't think it is. Thank you. Okay. So the Tigers sent four back. And the thing that's funny is that the Royals are also four back, but they're headed in the opposite direction. They They've are. had two seven-game losing streaks currently on one in the last, like, two weeks. I, guess I don't weeks. understand. Two and eight in their last ten. It's bizarre. It makes no so, sense. So this is the thing, though, that's crazy, is you've got the Royals holding, hold the line. Okay, they're going to be the line at this point because we, as, we, as, yeah. as we've established, the Tigers have a favorable schedule in the last six games. They're going to be okay. They do. I think so. And then the Twins are one back, three and seven in their last ten. And the Mariners are two back. They're just hanging around. It's right there. It's close. Which is so bizarre because, Brig. I might have to take six pies in the face, and I don't. You might. You really <laughs> might. And it's going to have to depend on how the other teams play. So, so it the is. Twins. Because especially, especially, Brig, real quick, because the Mariners do not have a tiebreaker against anybody that they're nope. up against on this spot. Nope. They don't. Okay. The Twins remaining as of Tuesday, today, they're going to play the Marlins at home three games. Then they're going to play the Orioles at home. Three games. Okay. Then the Seattle right in the middle of their three game stretch against Houston. Unfortunately, it's at Minute Maid. So that sucks. And they then played you've well got... there this year, though. I'll be honest with you. Oh, that's good. But then you've got three against uh Oakland, Oakland at home. Yeah. So you you and those there, I'm not gonna say those are locked in, but you they could be. So here's here's the funny thing though, Brig, about this whole thing, is that so the Mariners started the year really well against the American American League West, yeah. Um, like so to this, they haven't played Houston in a while. The last time they right. played Houston, Houston was really bad. The Mariners were six and four against the Astros on the season, yeah. Six and four against Oakland on the season as well. And Oakland has been considerably better than the Mariners since the All Star break. They have. The Mariners have been better the last That's couple true. weeks since the Scott but Service firing. They're over five hundred under Dan Wilson. But at the yeah. same time, though, you it's one of those things where <laughs> uh, it was. I saw a meme the other day. It was like the Mariners six days a week, and it was a little leaguer getting hit by a pitch while he's swinging. And then it <laughs> says the Mariners on one yeah. random day, and it was Barry Bonds hitting a home run. <laughs> <laughs> that is yeah. absolutely accurate. The, I think these Mariners okay. are going to go down as the Mendoza Mariners because they have the, the worst <laughs> batting average in history. The Mendoza Mariners. That's awesome. Well, so let's look at Kansas City's last six games. They've played the Nationals in uh, Washington in the D.C. area for three games, and then they go to Atlanta. The last three games of the season are in Atlanta. That's tough. That's tough because Atlanta is not going to want to roll over. They're going to want to end the season on a high note. Like they're going to. I mean, we'll get and there in just a minute. Only two no games matter where they're at. Card anyway. Right. Right. So real quick, 
Washington has not been good. No. At all. In their last, what, let's see. In, like, they were in the wild card hunt for, like, a long time, and then suddenly they just were not. It's just, they, it's not, so they have a negative 105 run differential. All of a sudden, too. I'm just saying. So they let's say Kansas City seven. whoops the the Nationals, okay? And okay. that becomes a turnaround. How many games can Kansas City reliably win against Atlanta? Out of three. With the way they've been playing, I'd say one. Yep. But let's say the, the let's say it turns things around and they kind of right the ship a little bit against Washington. Then mm-hmm. what? So you're saying take two out of three from Washington? Yeah, if they take two out of three against Washington, how do they roll into Atlanta and come out on what happens? Mm, that's mm. tough. Because I, I think it, I think part of it depends on how like where Atlanta is at in their race. Because if they're still in it, sitting two games back currently, if there's still a game or two back going into that series, they're not going to roll over. If they're out of it, if they are officially eliminated, I think you see some bench guys come in. Not as many as you used to. Used to you pull no. all the because you had that big bench, right? Because this because of September call ups, you don't have that anymore. You still have to play your starters. Yep. So, and I think that they would love to spoil too if it came down to it. Oh yeah, I still think they only need to win one in Atlanta. You still think they only end up one one in Atlanta, At Kansas City? Yeah. Okay, how many are they going to oh. take against Washington? Uh, I want to. I'm going to say two. I don't think they sweep. I don't think they sweep either. And I agree with you. Two against Washington makes a lot of sense. So let's say if they only they only win two in Washington, and let's say they win two in Atlanta. Okay, somehow. so that's four wins. Okay, that's four wins. Okay, that means that. How does that match up? Seattle would need to win out. six out of six. Have yep. to win out. To and that's not going to happen. Minnesota, no. though, would only have to win five. Five. Yeah. That's doable. But they're three and seven in the last ten. They're not playing well right now either. I know. And then they got to face the Orioles for the last yeah. three of the season. So I don't think the Twins are going to make it. So I if think- that's... Go ahead. I I think the way we're looking at it now, the way things stand, is going to hold when it comes down. I think the the arrangement will change, but I think it's going to hold. Yeah, I think the seating will change. Okay, let's move on to the National League. Oh, I was going to say just to recap for your American League playoffs. Then you've got your division winners: Yankees, Guardians, Astros, Wild Card teams are Orioles, Tigers, Royals. Not necessarily in that order. Congratulations if you had that rounding out your wild card teams. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> All right, let's move over to the National League. National League now. Okay, so hey, like can I said, say something really leaders. quick? I got to go split. ahead. Yeah, go I saw it. a statistic and it bridges American and National Leagues, so I'm just going to do it. Okay, Javier Baez has had 64 strikeouts. In 141 plate appearances, his last 141 plate appearances. Okay, Luisa Rise has been struck out one time in his last 141 plate appearances, <laughs> or over 141 plate appearances, I should say. Anyway, the end of Javi Baez time this season, at least. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, but. things immediately switched when Javi Baez was out too, which is bonkers. Wow. The Ewing theory break. Anyway, okay. Right. National League. Like I said, your division leaders, you got the Dodgers, Phillies, and Brewers. The Dodgers are the only team as of Tuesday, I believe, who will not have clinched their division. You got the Padres are on the top of the wild card, three games up. Then you have the Diamondbacks and the Mets holding the line at even with the Braves two games back. The Cubs are the next team back. They're seven, and that's too late. Sorry. Yeah, um, they're not going to make it. I, th- I mean, with only six games left, they're officially eliminated. Yeah, it's not so, going to So the Braves are the only other team in the hunt to get in. Yeah. 
Honestly, I think this one's easy. I don't think they do it. Not with the way the Mets have been playing. The Mets are seven and three in their last ten. The D backs mm-hmm. are five and five. Padres are eight and two. I even six and four, the Braves, six and four in their last ten. I don't think I don't think it's possible. Not playing well enough to get there. Now no. so, now the the problem is the Braves are ten games over five hundred against teams over five hundred, but the Mets are at five hundred. They're forty five and forty five against teams over five hundred. So this is the thing is I don't I don't feel like the Mets are the be, would be the team that would drop out. I think if the Braves are going to catch anybody, it's going to be Arizona. But this That's is the thing: Arizona finishes the season at home. Mm-hmm. Their final six games are at home against the Giants and the Padres. Well, the Giants are not good. We're eliminated no. for a week week plus now, so sure. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Like probably take two out of three there. Yeah. But, if you're Arizona, but you get San Diego coming to town. Oh. <laughs> you should be a feared. So you think about it that way though. Even if you take one from San from San Diego, and then you've got the Braves. Okay. So that's we'll say three wins. We'll say three wins okay. and their final six for yeah. the uh for the Diamondbacks. I'm gonna go look at the okay. Braves real quick. You said they it's finish up three the season against the Mets, against Kansas City. That's right. Three, three against, against the, Mets. the Mets, and then three against Kansas City, and they're all six at home. I wouldn't be surprised if the Mets swept them. They're playing so well right now. That's what I was going to say. They're and so we already right gave, now. we already gave either only one or two games. They're going to split the series with Atlanta and Kansas City. It's going to be a split one way or the other. Yeah. So yeah, if the I've... Mets sweep. That okay. that leaves that leaves the Braves with one or two wins at the end of the season. The Diamondbacks with three. The Braves have to make up two games. No way. The Braves would have to beat the the Braves would have to win the series against the Mets and the Royals that this last six days. They would have and, to sweep one of them because they and need the five Diamondbacks wins. would have to lose two out of three against San Francisco. Yeah, they would, and I don't see that happening. Mm, I don't either, Spe- no, especially not at home. Yeah, no, they've been no. playing so well at home lately. Yeah, they're playing well at home all year. Been, honestly, the Diamondbacks are forty-two and thirty-three at home. They're forty-five and thirty-six on the road. Right. Yeah, six a dozen half a, or six and one half a dozen yeah. together. <laughs> yeah. No, I I don't think that. I just don't think that the schedule is. Favorable for the Braves. Yeah. But really, though, when it comes down to it, like this Padres Dodgers series, I am locked in. Yeah. Because that could be crazy for the end of the season. Because so the Dodgers, yeah, like I said, they have the Rockies. So the, the Padres have to like have to sweep to have a chance. Yep. Because the I don't think that the uh, that the Dodgers are going to lose even two out of three to the Rockies at the end of the season. Although we've talked about this, did we? Was it you and I who talked about this? Hmm. That the Rockies are not reliable to lose. <laughs> yeah, we have. <laughs> when talked you about need that. them to lose, <laughs> when you need them to lose, you cannot count on them losing because for some reason they just don't. Yeah, and not sure why. But when you need them to win, they're not going to. Yeah, it's true. So. Okay, so that puts your your wild card. I mean, it's the same thing. Everything sits as it stands with the Dodgers, so you, Phillies, yeah. Brewers, Padres, Diamondbacks, Mets as your three wild card. Yeah, Padres, so, Diamondbacks, Mets. There is there is potential for some movement, but there's just enough of a gap, and the scheduling is done in such a way that I yeah. don't think there will be any. Aside from, like you said, the Tigers possibly catching the Orioles. That's something to watch there's, this last week. Yeah, and. And there is an outside chance that the D-backs kind of roll over against San Francisco. I don't see it happening, but there is an outside chance. The only way Atlanta pulls it together is if they somehow stop the Mets, they do well against the Royals, and then they watch as the D-backs kind of toss a layup. If that happens... We could see a shift, but those are outside chances for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Well, baseball family, let us know what you think about. I mean, will the Tigers catch the uh, catch the Orioles? Is that going to happen? Will the Padres catch the Dodgers? Probably not, but they'd be fascinating. It'd be a lot of fun if they did. I'll tell you that right now. 